It's your girl, the Twitter holic, and I'm back with another trending topic from Twitter. This video is all about Derek Jackson and his fall from grace with some of the black community. Now, I looked him up because I really wasn't sure of what it is exactly that he's so known for, right? And from a quick search, he has a Bachelor of Science degree from the College of Business and Information Science. So basically, nothing to do with relationship advice and such, which he's apparently known for. Now, we've all seen the clips of him apologizing, floating around, right? But what's lesser seen is his wife who actually speaks in that clip. So let's play this clip I found on Twitter and hear what she has to say. I made a series of decisions that I got to account for. There's no excuse or justification. I've already made that bed and have, have had to lie in it. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing and our own marital oneness. Um, and now this is being made public to you guys. So we're bringing that forth to you guys to let you know where we're at with that. But did you want to say anything? Um, yes. Yeah, so I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. And it was unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I tolerate or that we tolerate moving forward. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone and stood firm on, I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality and how he carried himself and how he presented himself and in conversations that we were able to have that we had never been able to have in just 12 years of knowing each other. And when we, when we were able to have these dialogues, I said, okay, Lord, this is something that you've had your hand on. And this was with me being completely removed from his life. And and him pursuing God, continuing to pursue God, and continuing to eliminate these things that led up to the catastrophe that you guys are seeing for the first time. So there's nothing out there right now that is information that I don't already know about or haven't known about. Um, and so this is not something that uh, is new. <laughs> we have uh, moved forward from it. We have gotten counsel for it and continue to do so. He is still continuing to pursue God and continuing to seek guidance. Alrighty, so you've heard from the long-suffering Mrs. Jackson. Now let's hear from the Twitterverse. The casual sex captain is not picking up what they're putting down as she tweets, I rather swallow melting glass than hold my husband's hand while he tells the world he had sex with other women. That sounds extremely painful. However, I understand the sentiment. Sean seems to think there is some kind of underlying situation as they tweet, Free Derek Jackson's wife. Now, does anyone viewing this think she needs saving? Let me know in the comment section what you think. Now the big concern for some is her appearance. Long Island's Finest tweets, Well damn, can I at least do my hair before you make me sit here for this hostage video? Sheesh! And you know, I've seen a lot of comments about this very thing, more so than Derek's behavior. But Crystal's not here for the foolishness though, as she tweets, so, not only is Derek Jackson talking in the third person during his admission, but he's joking about his wife's demeanor in the video on IG. Here's Queen of Zamunda's perspective on all this hair stuff as she tweets, Derek Jackson, I cheated on my wife. The internet. Why isn't his wife's hair done though? <laughs> yes, this seems to be a very pressing concern for all. 
but then we found a clip and this is authentic guys so let's watch this authentic clip i can't believe this woman on camera looking like this all these books are sold you couldn't put a goddamn wig on fuck what are we gonna do man but i needed to forgive me man i gotta sell these books i gotta do these speeches i gotta keep milking these weak ass women and getting this money i'm team jackson I'm Derek Jackson. How y'all doing? I'm Derek Action Jackson. I'm sorry, Derek Jackson. And uh, as y'all well know, uh, I've been out uh, slinging my bare beef and balls. I just want to tell her and y'all that I'm not cheating no more this year. Do you, do you want to say something to the people? Yeah, that's good. Buy my new book and keep listening to the lies I tell in my car. Okay? I got a nice car. Oh my gosh <laughs> speaking of him in his car my youtube mentor got in on the action ty said what ty said tweets Derek jackson on his way to go cheat <laughs> oh boy i know twitter really isn't your thing in the same way that it is for me but you just might make it to the black twitter hall of fame with this one great job Aisha agrees as she tweets, Black Twitter is the worst. Well, Aisha, I don't like to think of Black Twitter that way. I think of Black Twitter as the most creative and fun. And my Jamaican sister in Tanya Le Petit more tweets, Ray, I didn't even realize it was him in a, oh, the hypocrisy of it all. Of course, you know I'm gonna come with his ride or dies tweets as well, right? So, YouTube Zanzi True Crime Diva tweets Derek Jackson helped me move on from a shitty situation. His videos still ring true. Just because he fails to apply his own principles doesn't mean that what he preaches is invalid or that he is cancelled. Doctors eat McDonald's too! Okay. Ride or die, he's not gonna cheat with you. Blue is patriotism tweets. So corny. She should just let him cheat. The thought of my man freaking another woman is a turn on, so I let him. The moment we invited a third into our bed, our sex lives went freaking bananas. We love each other even more. Erica tweets. This award is for Derek Jackson. <laughs> I like this award. But let's go ahead and give one to Bluest Patriotism and Zanzi True Crime Diva as well. I think they deserve this award too. What do you think, guys? DKT's tweet reads like a commercial for a law firm. <laughs> if you or anyone you know has been misguided by Derek Jackson, you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> Whereas... In my own lane, his tweet is rather smug. <laughs> he says, All the women who had their men watching Derek Jackson videos as a reference of what a man should be, you can apologize here. It's a safe place. <laughs> Gee, thanks, in my own lane. <laughs> All these men who were so upset with Derek Jackson, they're basking in his demise right now. <laughs> Too many tweets to choose from. Ladies, if your husband cheats and you're humiliated, would you be able to do what Mrs. Jackson did? Do you think we're looking at a cry for help? And also, do you think that the fact that she's a stay-at-home mom factors into her decision to be on camera like that? Because maybe if she had a job, she wouldn't feel obligated to go through all of this, right? And fellas, could you do what she did if the tables were turned? I would like to hear from both you ladies and you gentlemen down in the comments section. And also, how does the video quality sound this time around? I just got this new microphone. Uh, the link is in my description box. You can get it at Amazon. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, let me know. Also, I hit 100 subscribers! Yay! So, 
Uh, Saturday was my birthday and Sunday I hit 100 subscribers and I just want to thank everybody including Wings and Mumbo Sauce, Nakaya, Shanitra, Thick Girl 40 and Taiwan from the Thai Said What Thai Said channel. You guys showed me some Cash App love so I wanted to shout you guys out especially. But guess what guys, since I hit 100 subscribers, I'm doing my very first live stream. It's going to be in two weeks and it's going to be on Saturday. Let me just check really quick so I can make sure that I tell you exactly what date it is. Okay, so not this Saturday the 27th, the 3rd of April. So April 3rd at around 4 p.m. EST. I am going live to celebrate hitting a hundred subscribers. I hope to see all of you there. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, share, share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit all so you never miss a video. Thanks guys. Bye.